Hi everyone. So in this case here, we're being asked to solve cotangent of theta is equal to one uh, between zero degrees and okay, seven twenty. Now it's kind of weird. There's no end to this, so let's, let's just do this. So it's an open interval there. Let's take a quick look at what this what this means. Zero to seven hundred and twenty. Okay, well, let's, we're starting here. It's a positive rotation, obviously, because the answer is positive. 720 is actually one complete rotation and another complete rotation. So we're going around the circle twice. Okay, so each of our terminal arms here is going to do double duty here. There's going to be, it's going to refer to a couple of angles. Now I come back to this right here. Cotangent is equal to one. I'd rather not be working with cotangent. I'd rather be working with one of the primary trig ratios. So I know cotangent is the reciprocal of tangent. So I'm going to reciprocate both sides. But the beautiful thing about this is when you reciprocate one, you just get one. So this actually works out really nicely here because tangent is positive in quadrants one and three. And so now I can see, okay, on the first rotation around, I'm going to hit it here and I'm going to hit it here. On the second rotation around, I hit it here and I hit it here. Now to get my reference angle, I will do the inverse tangent of one and I will get 45 degrees. Okay, so now first quadrant angles and third quadrant angles. Okay, let's, let's sit on this, this arrow here and follow it through. So the first rotation in the, in the first quadrant takes us up to, to here. It's just from zero, 45 degrees over, so the first angle there is 45 degrees. Now I keep going and I get to 180, and then I go down an additional 45 degrees. So 180 plus 45 is going to be 225 degrees. But I keep going along that, that arrow there. Now this is, this is where this has been, um, I, don't, I don't know how you say this, it's uh, a little confusing because, this might be a little confusing because in previous questions here, what we would have done at this point is, is um, jumped off this arrow and gone to another one and gone in a different direction. Here we just keep following it. So we're going to go all the way around to 360 and we're going to add, okay, another 45 here. So 360 plus 45 is going to be 405 degrees. Okay, that's, that's this angle right here up to this terminal arm. Now, this last one here, we're going to go all the way around 360 and then we already know that the angle from the positive x-axis out to here is 225. So what we're going to do is we're going to follow this around 360 and 225. So when you add those together, 360 and then 225, we're going to get 585 as that final angle there. So those are the four angles we're looking for.